Hey everybody, this is Birch. Uh, this is going to be something that will ring true with a couple of you. I think the the, the minority of the viewers it will ring true, right? and a handful of you will be like, "I don't, I don't care about any of this," and then a few of you will be actively pissed off by it. But um, I was thinking about this the other day because I was, lo I was I was looking at the comic news stories. You know, what's coming out, what's new, what's uh, what's going to happen here, and one of the top news stories today, as I'm recording this is that uh, Nubia, queen of the Amazons. So if, you, if you've been following along, Hippolyta was the queen, and then she joined the Justice League, and then Nubia took the throne, and then Hippolyta was killed, or maybe she wasn't. It's unclear. And, but anyway, Nubia is the queen of the Amazons. Now, Nubia is not a new character. A number of people have said, you know, this is woke DC trying to inflict some, you know, uh, African American. Well, is it African American or Amazon? What what is it anymore? Look, brown. Are we are we supposed to say that? It doesn't seem quite right that we're anyway. Whatever. Um, Nubia is the uh, is the new head of the Amazons, and Nubia is a pretty cool character. She came out quite a long time ago. I want to say the seventies, although it may have been the early eighties. Um, I do not have Wikipedia right in front of me, but anyway, uh, Nubia, Queen of the Amazons. And uh, she's a character that uh, is kind of in, in this way, and this is where DC is going to screw it up. But she doesn't have a ton of history behind her. So they do have a pretty blank slate in which to do some pretty cool stuff with a legacy character. And there aren't too many of those. So that's an interesting thing. But DC announced that Nubia, Queen of the Amazons, will join the Justice League in November. And uh, this kind of, uh, uh, you know, a couple people are kind of promoting this as like, uh, finally a black Wonder Woman joins the Justice League. And on, on one hand, I'm like, were people, with, like, finally, was that was that a benchmark somebody was shooting for? Was somebody like, finally, we have equality because there's a black Wonder Woman on the Justice League. It's like, there's a black Wonder Woman, and then, but but we weren't, it wasn't true victory until she joined the Justice League. Like, is it, who's thinking this way? That's a weird way to think. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I always expect people to say, finally, a comic where there's a uh, a black female character and the story is really cool and you want to read it and it sells well. Like to me, that's victory. That's like wow, it's a, this is a huge moment. But instead, it's like hey, is a and I, I see this stuff like hey, Nubia has joined the Justice League and I'm like, eh, but is it really equality if she doesn't also join the Justice Society and is some kind of Batman character and also in the Legion of Superheroes. Until she's all those things, then I don't, I mean, I don't, have we really achieved anything? I don't know. Feels like the company's still a white supremacist company until we achieve all those things. So let's, until she becomes a Robin and a Green Lantern and is in the, the you know, Legion of Superheroes and uh, is somehow also a Harley Quinn. She's going to have to be all those things, and then we, we have equality. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what to say. I, to make a good story, that's the best equality of them all. That's the best. Like, make it so that she does something awesome. I said this to somebody the other day. I'm like, uh, they're like, hey, isn't it cool that we have a, what is it, a Latinx hero over here? I'm like, did they do anything awesome? It's like, no, the story just had them, like, they designed a new costume, and then they fought a burglar, and then they had dinner. Like, nothing was gained. Like, I, I want to see a 12-issue story arc where the character beats the shit out of Dr. Doom after a tough and brutal battle that, you know, I'm like, give me that. That is a quality. But anyway. So, Nubia the Queen of Amazons is joining the Justice League November. And there's a bunch of people uh, talking and tweeting and Facebook posting going like, ah, you know, this is a huge moment. I'm definitely in for this. But then I read the story, and it's, this is literally the story. DC announced a Nubia and the Justice League. Are you ready for it? I'll bet you don't know what I'm going to say next. Remember, this is a huge moment for racial equality and, you know, promoting the character and everything else. Huge moment, right? So, do you know what I'm going to say next? DC announced a Nubia and Justice League one shot to celebrate her 50th anniversary. Okay. So in this comic, and by the way, this is this tells you how entirely screwed up everything is. Right now, as I'm recording this, as this press release came out, 
The Justice League is dead. They're doing this big event called Dark Crisis, where the Justice League was all killed, and the heroes of tomorrow have to step up and kind of save the day. Except here's the thing. If you actually read that comic, all these people, by the way, when they did Dark Crisis, you're like, oh my god, this is 5G all over. This both woke DC trying to replace all the heroes with gay, non-white, you know, transgender characters. This is what it is. It is what it is. This is what DC is doing. Have you read Dark Crisis? I'll give you a summary of how the comic has gone so far. The Justice League is dead. Nobody in the comic believes the Justice League is actually dead. They're all kind of walking around going, well, I'm sure they're back someday. If you read things like Infinite Crisis and some of the other you know, events that have happened over the years for DC, where like Grant Morrison actually installs a sense of dread in the reader that like things may be pretty effed up or, you know, crisis on infinite earths way back where it's like, yeah, we're, we're killing the flash and Supergirl. They're both going to die. And there, there's going to be, there's like people are going to cry. It's going to be awful and feel like, holy shit, they're killing Supergirl. That's how it used to be. If I can go through, even, you know, I, I death metal. It's like, oh my God, Batman's like a, a zombie somehow. And there's, there's a, even stuff like that. In this event, the heroes are like, well, the Justice League is dead, but I'm sure it won't stick. Like, what the hell are you doing? What the hell? Anyway, this big event that all these YouTube channels, I, I see these, uh, these videos from channels like DC goes full woke by killing Justice League and replacing it with gay characters. That's how the, that's, and, and like there's a, a, like a big frowny face emoji or maybe the person who's commentating on the video has a big huffy you know, expression on their face like, mm. and that's what it's doing. But in this comic, nobody believes the Justice League is dead, and all the quote-unquote woke young characters are getting their ass kicked by old white Deathstroke and his legion of other villains. Like, And the last issue concluded with Black Adam going to the Legion of Doom and being like, well, these guys all suck. Let's try and figure out how to save the world. That's that's it. Oh my God! But there's non-binary Flash. That the, the DC. No, that like the comic is even saying these heroes all blow. The first two issues of Dark Crisis was pretty much devoted to how much these new characters suck. If you think I'm wrong, read the comic. They they're failing left and right. Now I have no doubt about it. There's going to be a moment of like. You know, victory coming up at some point because it ha can't just be six issues of nonstop failure. But you know, right now, it's if there was a if you wanted to do an event where all the new, you know, SJW woke characters are exposed for being complete and absolute shit, that's this event. They suck. Read it for yourself. In the very comic, you've got like this last issue that came out. You had a combo of. As I said, Black Adam has to go to the villains, being like, well, these heroes suck. What do we do? And then the Justice Society comes in. These, the old heroes come in and like, well, you guys have completely fucked it up. Maybe we can help. That's, that, that's the comic. All these people, like, look at them replacing, you know, Superman with gay Superman and, and Latino Wonder Woman and Black Batman. And, like, is, I don't even... Has Black Batman even appeared in this comic yet? I'm like, it, it's, it is burying the new heroes. So sorry, we get back to, I get, am I supposed to be impressed that we've got, hey, Nubia Queen of the Amazons to celebrate her 50th anniversary is joining the Justice League for one issue. Really? Good Lord, who cares? And this is the viewpoint from a lot of the customers and fans. That's why, by the way, people are not buying into the comic industry being amazing or the people who are like the bounding into comics. The comic industry is absolute woke shit. Nobody's believing any of this because the efforts suck both directions. Okay, you're going to go you're going to go full diversity and inclusion with a one shot where Nubia joins the Justice League. Let's listen to this 
uh, press release, uh, this, this announcement, where even the person writing it is bored. To celebrate Nubia's 50th anniversary, DC is once again changing her status quo by having her join one of the most powerful teams in the DC Universe. Nubia and the Justice League Special Number 1 is a 48-page one-shot exploring the character's reintegration into man's world as she learns how to work with the various members of the JLA. There's no indication whether Nubia will be a permanent part of the team or if she'll part ways with the other members at the end of the one-shot, but having her join it all is an interesting move. No, it isn't. No, it is not. A 48-page one-shot? Fuck, I mean, just have, like, Batmite, Ambush Bug, joins the Justice League in 48 pages of pure bullshit nobody is going to remember a year from now. Who cares? If you're really committed to uh, Nubia and some of the diversity efforts, then commit a one-page, 40, uh, uh, sorry, one-page, one-shot, 48-page, like Nubia jokes around with members of the Justice League who in current continuity are dead. Who cares? Full stop, who cares? Let's see. Who is this issue written by? I'm sure it'll be an, a, a complete all-star team. After all, we're trying to create, you know, inclusive you know, efforts. That's what, uh, you know, the, 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 the news, the news, People keep telling us that, you know, the comic companies are trying to push this diversity on us. So certainly to do that, they're going to put the best possible creative team on this 48 page one shot where the Justice League, which I mean, who gives a shit? They're not they haven't even been putting the title out for several months because the characters are all dead. I'm sure, uh, you know, this is the prestigious A team of DC. Why not? Who's the creative team? Nubia and the Justice League Special Number 1 is written by Becky Cloonan, Michael W. Conrad, and Stephanie Williams. Oh, three writers on this. With art by Art Adams. Oh, <laughs> no. Come on. J. Scott Campbell? No. Jorge Jimenez? No. Mark Miller stole him. Um, who, who could possibly be this top creep? And by the way, this is not. I'm sure this artist is wonderful. Honestly, it is not throwing shade at the artist. It's just saying, if we're to believe that the SJW takeover of comics is is dominating everything, and uh, and and this is the you know, this is the best possible effort, you know, DC's going to tout this, pat themselves on the back of being the most amazing, you know, inclusion after fifty years, an anniversary, fifty year anniversary. Who have we put on this book? Art by Amake uh, Nufulapan and Aletha Martinez. The issue features variant covers by Travis Moore, Mateus Manahini, and Joshua Sway Swabi. I mean, I, I, again, that's not a knock on any of those artists, I, I promise. But he, yeah, Becky Cloonan, Michael Conrad, and Stephanie Williams delivering a 48-page one-shot of the Justice League. I know DC knows who big names are because they, they took out ads saying Bendis is coming and they will stand behind a Tom King so, I, you know, DC knows this is not the top writing talent in all of comics, nor is it a recognizable art team. Maybe a wonderful art team, and you know what, I'm hoping I open up this issue and the artists knock it out of the park. But if your goal is to truly celebrate, promote, honor, diversity, and put this stuff in play, then promoting a, a Nubia and the Justice League one-shot by a B-list creative team, a writing, and relative unknown artists. Maybe they're great. Hope so. That, that's that you trying. I'm sorry. 
That is not, come on. So when I read this, how am I supposed to think about it? Seriously. By the way, a car just passed me on the road. It's got, the, it's got a giant sticker in the back window that says BLM, Bang Local Mills. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> God damn. I, but, but look, how am I supposed to think about this? Am I supposed to be like, hooray, finally, finally, finally we're fighting white supremacy by putting Becky Clonan and Michael Conrad and Stephanie Williams, three writers on a book with an unknown artist team on a 48-page one-shot where Nubia joins the Justice League maybe for an issue. Yay! Equality. Hey, well, what are you even doing? To, to, and to be in higher, 100% clear about this, like, if, if you really want to promote this kind of, if you want to promote diversity and inclusion, and more power to you if you do, here's an idea. How about Nubia, the ongoing series that is not a limited series by some of the biggest names in the industry? Jim Lee will be doing covers. You know, I, I don't know. Who does DC have? You know, put Bendis on it. Put Josh Williamson on it. Put uh, Scott Snyder. How about that? Scott Snyder returns to DC for an ongoing Nubia series with covers by Jim Lee and interior art by uh, Brett Booth. How about that? That would send a little message saying, hey, we're not fucking around this time. We actually do care about diversity. How about that? Oh, boy. A one-shot. Thank goodness we've come so far as a society that we can do a 48-page one-shot with a uh, relatively unknown creative team uh, about something that nobody will remember or care about 60 days after it hits the stands. If that. Is this, is this, you know that meme of the little, it's like the anime character and he's like looking up and holding a butterfly and it's like, is this, it's like, is this equality? Is this what that, is this what equality is? A one shot? You got, this is the, the point I try and make to the, uh, you know, comics are infested with, uh, with with SJW liberals. This is the point I try and make. They're not taking any of these efforts seriously. I know you guys are. I know it's it makes good video fodder. It's like, oh my god, did you see that Nubia real one book? It sure did suck. And and you're right, it did absolutely suck. It certainly did. That book was terrible. But who cares? Who's talking about Nubia Real One now? Anyone? Nobody is mentioning this book. Nobody has remembered that book exists. It's it's dead. Just like the idea of, of a one-shot 48-page book, I, I'm this is one of those arguments that cuts both ways and everybody gets pissed off. This uh, this is an indication that absolutely nobody is taking this seriously. Nobody. You can be angry about it, but this is, the, don't, don't worry. If you're like, oh man, they're trying to replace all the straight white characters with, you know, gay colored characters. Colored is, it still seems like a, a absolutely a slur to me, but, you know, I don't know. People use it. Uh, it's, it's wrong, right? Like, when did that become right? And people like I, I was reading an article on Bleeding Cool, and they're like, you know, colored characters are be, are having a resurgence. I'm like, that's flat out racist, isn't it? It was last time I checked. I, I think it is, pretty sure. But all right, I guess you do what you got to do. But I mean, that that doesn't, doesn't feel right anyway. People of color, I, just put the ongoing comic out, or at least try. Who cares? Like, half the comics get canceled by issue 10 anyway. You can't even pretend. I don't I don't take any of this seriously. When the comic companies come out and they're like, we're, we're focusing on diversity. No, you're not. You're not. It's a bunch of bullshit. You are not. Not when you're doing stuff like this. If you're getting angry about this, don't. There's no point. Why are you angry about it? It's not real. If the best effort is a 48-page look, finally, for the and look at this, the 50th anniversary. 
of this character. 50 years. Joining the Justice League? In a one-shot. Woohoo! Thanks for listening.